Okay guys, um, this is the OCR D1 paper from January 2009, question 3, part 1. And this question is about the use of Kruskal's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree. Now this one's quite nice because you're, we're given the network we've got to work on there. But just as importantly, um, all the arcs have been sorted into ascending order for us, which should make it nice and easy. Now, the way that Kruskal's algorithm works is as follows. Basically, what we've got to do is we just add arcs to the network um, one at a time, in order, um, smallest to largest. But the key thing that we've got to be got to avoid doing is building any cycles in. So if we just kind of go through the list, um, nine's the smallest one, so we add that arc there, and 14 is next, we cross them off and add them as we go. Um, 16 is next, so that's that one there. Then 18 is next on the list, which is that one there. And then we've um, FG, which is 20, so we cross that out. And CF. Now, this is an interesting one. Now, CF is 22, so that one would be across there. But we can't do that because that makes a cycle. So we just rub that out, like that. So we skip and we go on to the next one. Now EG is 23, so that one is there. Now, if we look at this, I think we've probably got a minimum spanning tree there because if we just do a quick count up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes in the network and then they're all included. So the thing the question asks us then to do is to really go down the bottom and draw the minimum spanning tree for the examiner to show them what we've created. So we just draw that there like that. And the absolute final thing we have to do to answer this question is, if we go down the bottom, um, total weight of the arcs in the minimum spanning tree, so we just have to add them up, we get 9, at 14, at 16, at 18, at 20, and 23, and when we do that, the sum comes to 100. And that is how to answer an exam question on Kruskal's algorithm, which we can use to find a minimum spanning tree for a network. And if we'd done that successfully in our exam, this question would have gained us five marks.